Hey, what's up? Happy 2016. You got TMF Cause uh, representing Track Slapper, Ventral Epidemic. Just got to throw those in there. Anyways, this video is long overdue. Uh, should have been done a long time ago, and I'm not going to delay anymore. I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, it's about this little bastard right here, uh, H. pylori. Uh, it was 2009. I started feeling weird. It started with nightmares. I think maybe uh, some vomiting. It was pretty mild. And the next thing you know, it's the worst shit of your life. What will make you think that you have H. pylori? Uh, the, the symptoms, the side effects. You got crazy digestion issues. You got constipation. You got uh, vomiting, nausea, acid reflux. Uh, you know, uh, basically uh, a whole cornucopia of things. <laughs> I just say cornucopia. Basically have a, a, a ton of symptoms that are there. Uh, anxiety, uh, mood disorders, mood swings. I mean, the list goes on and on. So you might be wondering to yourself, what is H. pylori? H. pylori is a bacteria that can be transmitted from person to person or from food source, possibly water source, uh, to person and then you know, from that person to another person is how it really gets around. So if you maybe traveled outside the country, if you've met with someone that's traveled outside the country, uh, you've had some sort of relations, maybe you just shared a beverage or shared food. I mean, I myself uh, do not have the knowledge of what amount of H. pylori it takes to be transmitted to have an infection. But needless to say, for myself, I didn't travel outside the country, but I did uh, have relations with someone uh, from outside the country and that is most likely how I got it, if not the only way that I got it because my environment didn't change. Um, so that's something to think about for yourself if you traveled outside the country um, and also especially if you're already connecting dots as you're watching this, you might want to start uh, talking to that person that is not from uh, the country, which is America. Hello. If you didn't know, there's no American flags in here. But uh, How do I find out for sure if I have H. pylori? That's a hell of a question. Uh, with the basic uh, simple answer which is get tested they have uh, breath tests stool tests you know um, go for whatever comprehensive test that you can get done and if you're a healthcare practitioner does not provide that go find one that will uh, I found a lab uh, here in San Francisco that was willing to do it for uh, some lab work for at the time I didn't have insurance or anything, it was a hundred something bucks, but it's worth it, so do it. Because if you don't know what you have, then how can you combat it? I have H. pylori, what should I do? Well, luckily for you, I finally made this video. Um, this information is pretty much scattered all over the internet. All I did was take the most sensible things and combine it, um, making a strict diet supplement regimen that worked for me and one other person. So as of right now, 100% success rate and let's hopefully keep that continued uh, for anybody that's willing to try this and go out and do it. Now one of the things I have to say at least about my, not like I came up with it, but the, the regimen, the supplements that I decided to take is that there is no proprietary uh, ownership over any of this shit. All right? I'm not trying to convince you go to this website, buy this shit. I myself, when I was super fucked up and sick, I bought some stupid ass herbs from online or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I didn't do a damn thing. I had to go through some bullshit. I luckily got my money back and hopefully you do not go through any of that because I know how frustrating it is being uneducated on something and having to figure it out all at once. I myself, I'm not exactly sure how I'm coming across in this video. I mean, I have a track slapper shirt on and a baseball cap kind of tilted to the side. Hopefully the glasses, uh, you know, kind of exude that little bit of intellectuality <laughs> that uh, gives me some credit or at least you're so desperate that you'll try because it will most likely help you. Um, so anyways, uh, needless to say, the medical community is pretty bent on handing out antibiotics like Tic Tacs and everybody got stank ass breath. I have H. pylori, what do I do? Don't take the antibiotics. Don't believe what they tell you. Don't think none of that shit. I did the real horrible, I think it's triple therapy, quadruple therapy, uh, that shit did not work. I was retested uh, and was positive again for H. pylori. So all it did was totally screw up my digestive system, uh, you know, kill a lot of positive bacteria and uh, ultimately caused the yeast overgrowth later down the line. But anyways, uh, let me get back into what you should do. 
I have H. pylori, what do I do? Here's what you do, all right? So H. pylori thrives in an acidic environment. So basically you wanna re remove all the acid forming foods from your diet. I mean, uh, you can do a search on the H. pylori diet and you will find several similar ones that have the yes and no food sections. <laughs> so basically no sugar, no gluten, no meat, no alcohol, no fast food, uh, etc. I actually went vegan for 60 days, which is, if you knew me at all, you'd be like, you liar. <laughs> but I did, I, I, I went vegan, gluten free, all that stuff for 60 days, because that's how bad it was. At least that's how bad I had it. Um, so again, I went vegan for two months, uh, but my girlfriend, who also was going through this with me at the time, uh, she cheated uh, with food and ate some, uh, I think some fish and some chicken and whatnot, and she was okay, but I would advise against it. Um, that's just myself, like I'm saying, um, I wanna be sure and make sure that uh, I'm gonna get well, so I don't wanna help these guys live any longer than they need to. You know, the faster you get better, the better. So, hey, 60 days, I don't know why that would seem a long time if you've ever been sick for any amount of time, but believe me, this is the best investment of your life. So dedicate those 60 days and get that done. Um, so also, be beyond just the restrictions of a diet, you want to add things to your diet. And uh, some of the things that worked very well for us, we have Manuka honey, and there's uh, some sort of active uh, allotment number in there. There's like plus 16 plus or whatever plus, but you do want to make sure, and, and I'm sorry off the top of my head, I don't remember exactly what that uh, number is for, but you do want to find the one that has some amount or more amount. If you're paying for just Manuka honey and it doesn't have that in it, I don't think it's making a difference, at least from what I've read. So feel free to read more or you can just go off with that. Um, so we have Manuka honey three times a day. Uh, the first thing in the morning, midday, and right before bed, a spoonful. We had cabbage juice smoothies made from fresh cabbage uh, through an electric hand blender, uh, morning, midday, and at night, which Plug your nose, buddy. <laughs> Plug it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I guess maybe I need a more serious tone. People are gonna be like this. You're not serious. I'm just so excited to be making this video finally. I, I just, I finally stopped being sick less than a month ago, about a month ago. And when you're sick for seven years, you just don't think it's gonna end. I've had people look at me in all types of ways, maybe I'm bringing it on myself and I'm just like, man, you know, you haven't done all these things, you haven't done this stuff, and it's like, you don't, there's no days off when you're sick, there's there's no weekend, there's no, you've put in a 20 something hour, 20 something day, 200 something day, how many days was that, 2000, I was sick for 2000, Okay, so, so eat a lot of garlic, uh, eat a lot of ginger, add it to your non-acid forming foods. Uh, cinnamon can help spice it up and possibly kill H. pylori as well. So uh, definitely love cinnamon. Uh, it's great. You will learn to like it <laughs> if you don't love it already. It should be the third spice on the, ten on the table. <laughs> uh, so and every morning about an hour after the honey, Here's what we had. So we had, we made a shake. It's whey protein, blackstrap molasses, L-glutamine, turmeric, grapefruit seed extract liquid concentrate, organic extra virgin coconut oil, and unsweetened almond milk. And the reason why is because that's the lowest sugar, no gluten uh, type of thing that you could have really in the morning that is working with the non-acid forming foods and then the, the amount of sugar is extremely low. Um, uh, I think it was uh, vanilla whey protein, but it, it tastes a little better. I mean, if anything, just turn off your mouth for two months and you're straight. That's it. You, know, you, you have such a preference over how things taste, really. Um, so I also did take probiotics to help throughout. Uh, I would only recommend them for a limited time. That supposedly weeks after you start taking them, they will die off anyways. I don't know if I agree with what I wrote right here, but the probiotic shit is all up in the air if you've ever read about this. I mean, at least in regards to what you have inside of you and then what you're putting in you. 
because I, I read some really, you know, strange things about the behavior of probiotics in the body. Um, you feel free to do that. And the whole point of this is feel free to drop comments. Put a ton of comments here. Comment, ask me questions, harass me, do whatever. Uh, if not for the internet, I, I would still be sick. Uh, if anything, I might be in a mental ward or something else. Uh, you could, well, you can't look at my medical history, but if you ever did, you'd know I, I'd have no problems like that in my life. I've been extremely healthy my whole life until this, this other flower over here. Okay, so 2013, uh, there was a study done uh, by uh, some Greek scientists, I believe, and they found that H. pylori, uh, I'm sorry, that mastic gum was like 80% as effective as killing H. pylori as an antibiotic therapy, but with like whatever percent less risk and complications. Digestive enzymes, you will, these will be your friends. If you're having digestive problems as well, get some good digestive enzymes. Uh, go on Amazon, read some reviews. I don't endorse shit. I, I endorse my own stuff, right? Like, because I stand behind it and I know what, what it is and what it's about. Just like this video that I'm talking to you about right now. This is something I stand behind because I experienced it and I believed it. I ain't a fucking pitch man. I, ain't, I don't need to put on a suit and tie right now and preach to you off some bullshit. Leave the perceptions alone of what is and what isn't. And, okay, well, that's not going <laughs> So I was going to say, okay. In regards, to all, in regards to all the products that you've seen me mention, you can probably notice that none are by a brand name. That's because I'm not a spokesperson. I do not endorse brands. Okay? The only thing I will ever endorse is things that I'm working on. So this video, Track Slapper, things of that nature. If you if I spun the camera around this room right now, you'd say it really looks like a music studio or, or a video studio. Why are you talking about H Polarity? Because it's the most important video for me to make and I'm, I'm happy to make it for you now. And I really hope this helps everybody that watches it. Uh, anyone that's sick, you get the information of people, hey put this up on boards, uh, on discussion groups, you know, communities, whatever you gotta do. We all deserve good health good food, good place to live. And I don't mean a castle on a hill. I just mean a safe neighborhood with people that aren't dicks. But I guess I'm gonna hold my breath on that one. <laughs> all right, all right. So, if you're reading, if you're watching this and uh, you have H. pylori symptoms and they're giving you some troubles, well, here's a couple tips, all right? Nightmares, if you're having nightmares, Drink some chamomile tea before you go to sleep, okay? You're probably like, chamomile, what the fuck is that? Or you're like, yeah, I like chamomile. Well, chamomile uh, has the same chemical reaction in your brain as what is it, Prozac, Xanax, something like that, but it's the feelings of calmness and, and, and well-being, and that will definitely help you. Uh, if anything, I would say, too, is keep external bad stimulants away, all right? Don't watch killing shit, don't watch even Ultimate Fighter, don't watch, I was, I couldn't watch Ultimate Fighter, I mean, don't watch House, alright, I love House, but it's, under this is a, is a Princeton Plainsboro sweater, so, all y'all know about House, um, don't watch that, don't watch anything crazy, watch funny shit, watch, uh, a animated stuff, watch, you know, uh, anything, just, just nothing with bad, uh, stimulants in it for you, nothing to make you worried, nervous, sad, mad, all that stuff, um, Anxiety, you're having anxiety, you're feeling anxious. Uh, hot showers saved my life. I don't know how many, when I was sick, I swear to God, this is, it's funny now. I know it's not funny, but it's funny to me now because I was, it's a struggle like a um, I can remember honestly how many times just feeling like I was gonna die and that at least if they were gonna come get me, I would be clean. So <laughs> not only is it calming in my mind that way, but who don't like a hot shower? Who doesn't? It's just great. And then if you transition, uh, you know, that to kind of help you calm down and then take an Epsom salt bath and just, just chill out, just relax. The name of the game about this rehabilitation, recuperation time is be calm, be easy, be patient. Give it 60 days. That's it. I mean, who knows? 55 days, 58 days, we all round shit. 60 days. Okay. Acne, skin issues. 
<laughs> yeah, I noticed while I was having H. pylori too that I was having some weird acne and some other skin issues. So if anything, a, a half or a whole multivitamin uh, really helped me missing. Uh, to, a half or a whole multivitamin really helped me get the missing vitamins and minerals that I needed. But in addition, if you know anything about nutrition at all, you know that the majority of people in the world, Americans, I mean, however you look at it, that were deficient in many vitamins and minerals. Uh, something that really hasn't progressed in the world. Uh, when you, I was in my younger days, I don't know how old I look right now, but in my younger days, yeah, I was dumb as shit, and I had a really stupid mentality, and I'm happier every day that I can educate myself or have people help me educate myself, get me educated, um, and, and to make progress in life, because that's what life's about. I mean, it's all around us. We just are so resistant in our weird human insecurities that we just seem to forget some of these things sometimes so or, or, or put them put them on the back burner never to reach the front you know, gotta eat that shit up so in closing what I have to say is be strong give it a shot okay I seriously would never take the antibiotic route again never ever 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 for anything I mean unless it was like MRSA or something else that invaded my body somehow like that you know that the risk has to be worth it and there are associated risks with prolonged H. pylori infections so I think uh, pancreatic cancer, colon cancers, there's a few cancers and other things. So you do want to get this out of yourself as soon as possible. Um, and uh, I'm not much of a religious person. I, I went to Catholic school when I was growing up in grade school. Um, I just, I think there's some intelligent design here. I don't, I don't, I don't like to act. Like I know about things I cannot prove or I do not know. That doesn't mean I do not have faith in anything. It's just I'm more willing to let something be unknown. Because I don't know. I don't need to know. But I do have faith in being a good human being and trying to better my life and better the lives of myself and those around me uh, who I do care about. My friends and family. And, and to you who's watching me right now on the internet. I'm taking time out of my life to do this for you. So I hope you do appreciate it, respect it. Um, I, I, I really feel for you more, more than you ever know if you're sick with this. More than you ever know. It's like I know you right now. It's like I know you right now. Because um, it's the hardest thing I've ever gone through in my life. Hands down. Seven years. I was uh, diagnosed pre diabetic mid last year, late last year. Had this shit happen on my face. <laughs> um, the hardest shit I ever went through. And now that it's over, I'm going to help you get through yours. I'm going to come back with the Canada video coming up, following up real soon. And uh, the next thing I'm going to do basically is just take over the music entertainment world. What can I say? So that's how I'm going to do.